In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the Canva free AI text to image tool. You can head over to their website on Google or any preferred browser. On the top right of your screen, there will be a login or sign up button. You can log in if you already have a Canva account, otherwise you can sign up. Next, you're supposed to go to the apps option on the left of your screen. You click it and it will lead you to a page. There will be plenty of categories like trending. It, it's right there in front of you like the text to image option. And even in the new category, the text to image tool is right there. Even in the design sensors, it's right there. You can scroll down to find it. Otherwise, if you're having any issues with finding the tool, you can just go up here and search it. And it will be right there. Once you click it, it will lead you to this pop up sort of thing and it, you have to choose either to use it in an existing design or in a new one in this case we're using a new one it will give you a few options like to use it in a document a video an instagram post or a logo in anything you want actually just scroll down here and there are plenty of options in this case we're using it in a document we click the document it will lead us to a new page Next, it let it load up for a second and on the left of your screen, it will be written text to image. There will be a box where you can type in whatever you wanted to create. There's a style option right here too. Firstly, you're going to type in whatever you want. For example, modern picnic table. And right there, uh, that's done. That's basically all you need to type or you can type in anything more advanced than that, obviously. Next, you're going to choose a style. On the main page, there's usually the filmic style, the dreamy style, the photo style. But if you want more styles, obviously, you can go to the see all option and it gives you plenty of styles to choose from. Next, you can choose the aspect ratio of the image you want. You can either make it a square, you can make it landscape, or you can make it portrait. Right now, we don't need anything except for a square, so we're just going to proceed with create your image. Once we click it, it will take a minute to like create this stuff. It will actually generate four images for you, but again, there is a limit to this. It can't generate any explicit images. Even on the pro version of it, there is a limitation to the images. Right now, it gives you four images. You can choose from any of them like this. You can just drag and drop it over here. It will just load up instantly. And yeah, if you don't like this, you can go to the other one. If you don't like the style, you can hit another style like dreamy and create again. It will create the whole thing again for you just wait for it as it does take some time and yeah it's right here you can just uh, drag and drop it over here and it's in front of you again this is the dreamy theme uh, there's a lot of themes for you to choose from like a minimalist theme which will go for our modern picnic table if you click create again it will generate again obviously we can also ask you to generate anything I'll give you a few examples after this like look here it created a very beautiful design for us Next, if you want to try anything else, you can just delete this and type whatever you want. For example, fantasy cliff and go on to the styles, choose whatever you want. For example, we're going with none for now and hit create again. It will create the four images as usual. It could. There's a house on top of a cliff. You could also just type something fun with it. For example, you could go a dog's diving using and the more advanced you request it it will take more time for it I do not know why it didn't account for the tissue paper part but we can't just try again Let's try something different. As I said, like the more complicated your request is, it will take time. See, it has tissue paper on its head for some reason. And this is a very adorable dog, just like skydiving. So you can just go ahead and share it. Go in the share option. You can save it to a folder, you can copy a link if you want to give it to anyone else. And yes, that's it. You can delete it too. 
you can upgrade to pro that gives you more options and more generatable images per day so yes that basically sums up this video thank you for watching and goodbye